Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to AVTG and this is another one of those type of videos where you don't see my face, you just hear my voice. Um, hopefully it sounds um, pretty good or whatever. Um, and um, oh yeah, see my OBS screen is right here. This is by um, Lauren Lauren's new Mac uh, Mini um, setup right here. Uh, like I said, if y'all have seen the other videos, you know that we got a new computer because the other one just wasn't cutting it. That one's strictly for video editing purposes right now and everything. Um, and that one, I just got a switch for HMI switch so that I could toggle back and forth and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, so right now, I'm just, I was thinking about what, what can I talk about. And as you can see, like right down here, um, right on the screen, I got some... Uh, universal audio UAD icons or whatever and this is the console icon and this is the UAD meter and control panel so uh, I got the arrow interface um, for universal audio and yeah, so far I like it. it took me a while to figure out how to set it up only because I was slow and didn't understand it but really quite simple and also I feel like it would have been a lot easier if I was on my PC because I know how to find like files and everything on my PC so I'm still getting used to this Mac and everything but so basically um, you have to have this this um, thing open the console and this is where like it's his own software so this is where it runs this audio through and I'm giving a basic generic overview of this right now because I literally just figured out how to set this thing up yesterday and like I just got this thing up and running like 10 minutes ago <laughs> so yes yeah, so it's very basic um the base software interface you got it'll give you all these uh, channels right here so mine is a uh, two input um, interface so you see right here analog one analog two um and the mic that i'm using is akg akg mic um so I, uh, so it uses um phantom power so i could click phantom power up here if i want to but the cool thing about this is that the interface interacts with it so like I, I can hit it right here i can hit phantom power right here or the um, roll off or whatever or the pad and it'll display that same icon on my interface and vice versa i can go to the interface and you know hit whatever i can adjust my gain knob um, let me see if i could do it real quick see so you should see on the monitor on the screen that you know my voice is getting lower as I turn and I'm not moving the mouse or anything um, so hopefully that's back in the right space so you can kind of see the integration between the two um, the hardware and the software excuse me um, so that's the cool thing about this but so um, let me show you how to basically once you have this up and running you basically just follow the instructions on the website you install it um you register it and you, if, if you used to back you know i guess uh, actually for permission for all this stuff um just say yes and once you got this up and running you got sound you got your microphone and you got your fan of power if it requires that you go to your doll Um, go to your doll, mine is FL Studios, somewhere, okay, right here. And now you go to, uh, let's see, you go to options, you go to audio, you go to Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Then hit F9 for the mixer. And I uh, you got your master right here. This is your whole mixer right here. Um, go to up here and search. Now, since of course you could run it in stereo, you could link them or whatever, but this is just running in a mono configuration. So I'll go down to here, mono, mic, line, high Z1, because this interface does have a high Z for like guitars or synthesizers. So, uses that same one but this is just a normal um 
uh, mic uh, XLR click here and now you should be able to see some the meter go up and down you know right now as I get closer test 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 one two test one two test one two so trying to figure out these gain settings and everything so hopefully I can fix it in post production but um yeah guys so that's basically it on how to get um audio running on your from your UAD interface and more specifically into uh, what should we call it um, FL studios so once you have all this set up by following the instructions open up FL studios make sure go to audio setting make sure your device is universal audio thunderbolt you know make sure your buffer length is how you want it and everything the F9 for the mixer. Make sure it's whatever it is. If you have stereo, go to stereo. If you have mono, do that. And then, of course, you should be seeing some metering going on. And that's how you know that you're set. So, thanks guys for watching. I hope this video was informative. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning this thing, so this isn't. You know, I'm learning with you for new people, for the people who are new to Universal Audio. I got I learned about them a while ago in school, but they have money. Now I have a little bit more money, um, and we decided to just you know upgrade a little bit. And so far, I'm happy with it. Um, it does things that you know that like I, I was I took for granted. Like so like when um, like Lauren and I were recording whatever, and we we're, were in the same room, so I had to turn on the monitor. And set up her headphones. You know, you constantly going back and turning it, setting it, could be annoying. But on the UAD, I could just click the the turn wheel, and it would just mute um, the monitor and just have her headphones going. And when I want to hear the monitor, I could just click it again. So stuff like that is pretty cool. Um, so that's why you know I, I fell in love with it automatically. Um, but thanks guys for watching, tune in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And check out next time. Peace.